every single day you come into contact with hundreds of items that could potentially be affecting your health, including something you do hopefully on a daily basis. You probably don't think twice about this, brushing your teeth. Hi doctors, my dentist has been telling me for years to use soft bristle toothbrushes. If that's the case, why do they even make hard bristles? Are there certain situations where you would need them? I'm glad you asked this question and we have our friend and dentist, Dr. Bill Dorfman here to help us answer this question. Hi Bill, welcome back. So it's harder, better. You know what, it actually isn't. The reason why toothbrush companies sell them is because people buy them. People buy That's them. It. But yeah. let's see I what people on the street had to choose. Because we gave them a chance to pick their toothbrush that they thought was best for their teeth. We were giving away free toothbrushes in Hollywood. They had right. soft, medium, and hard toothbrushes to choose from. Let's see what they picked. I got the medium vibrating bristles for a deeper clean. This one. Every woman likes a firm though. I chose this yellow toothbrush because it's yellow. The bristles are very firm, just like me. I chose the medium bristle. I don't like the soft toothbrush. I just feel like it wears out easier. I chose the soft bristle. Our bristles are really abrasive and cause your gums to bleed. I honestly, I go for the ones in the commercial. But I look for not soft, but I look for hard. I think I'm gonna do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so we had all these people doing this. We tallied it up. At the end of the experiment, guess what we found? We found that approximately 24% chose soft. Less than a quarter chose the right one. 62% chose medium. 14% made the hard choice of choosing hard, and that's definitely not good for you. So let's definitely. walk through why this can be so such a critical decision. We're making the wrong one. Well, here's the deal. Hard and medium toothbrushes are just too hard. They damage your gums, they damage your teeth. Neither of those will grow back. You're, you're, you're abrading it and it's really not healthy. And at the bottom line is, this is the most important thing you need to know. Plaque is soft. The plaque that builds up on your teeth every day is soft. All you have to do is brush off that plaque and you're good. So let me go to the magic wall and I'll show you exactly what happens, okay? okay. This is what a set of normal teeth would look like. Now, if you brush too hard, and we're going to use this big toothbrush, what <laughs> will happen is you'll brush away all of the gums and the tooth structure here on your teeth. And it really damages your teeth. And like I said earlier, none of that will grow back. It's always going to be gone. So you have to be really careful. If you just focus on the teeth and brushing the teeth too hard, you'll see you get all of this abrasion on the tooth. Now we can repair that, but the bottom line is you don't need a hard toothbrush. You need a soft toothbrush. You need to get the plaque off. If you do that daily, you're not gonna have a problem. And I have to ask in our audience, we didn't take the poll before, but less than a quarter of the people on the street used a soft toothbrush. Raise your hand if you use a soft toothbrush now. Raise your hand if you're going to use a soft toothbrush from here on out. <laughs> Ho hopefully yeah. we've convinced everyone that right. soft is the way to go. So there's, there's no time to use a hard toothbrush. You it's, never no. want to use a hard so, toothbrush. Now, my favorite toothbrush is a power toothbrush. Oh. The number one recommended toothbrush is Sonicare by Philips. There's research that shows two weeks of use with this will improve your, your gum health tremendously. Let me tell you something else that I love about Philips Sonicare. They are so committed to helping kids that right now they're doing a program with the Natu National Children's Oral Health Foundation where they're giving free dental care and oral hygiene health tips to teens across the United States. And the great thing for all you in the studio audience is you get to go home with one. Woo!